Hi everybody, how are you? Jim Prusak from The Pain PT. And I wanted to do this little video about what I call radical acceptance. And I feel like it cuts through to the point and really takes a shortcut from having to do what people perceive as all these different techniques and work and trying to figure something out um, anything you're doing to improve yourself when in reality you can take a shortcut to the end when you can accept what's happening and so I call this radical acceptance because it's not just you know very general basic acceptance of a few things I'm talking about applying this concept of radical acceptance to everything in your life and we're going to talk about your pain, we're going to talk about your stresses, we'll talk about your own thoughts, your own feelings, everything and anything. When you apply this principle of what we call self-acceptance, it changes your brain and we have the science now to show it does that. And one of the things that it does when we can accept something, it changes our brain's way of processing feelings, number one, how we regulate our emotions, and it reduces the stress chemicals that we're producing in the body. So it's a shortcut from having to do or figure out or to strain or strive to get somewhere when all we want to do is drop our resistance, which is basically we start to accept what's happening. Now, the reason we want to do that is because we want to change our brain and we want to change our nervous system and change sort of our perception of what's happening. And we know with chronic pain and we know with all emotions that they're benign, that it's not dangerous, it's not really threatening. But the brain, the emotional brain, the limbic system, and our sort of prefrontal cortex, which goes into catastrophizing and worry, rumination, it doesn't believe that. It doesn't think that way. It's not accepting of what's occurring. So when we make this shift to acceptance, we're literally surrendering to what's happening. And this sort of thing, it literally changes our biochemistry. It's really quite amazing when you can make that switch in yourself. Now I've worked with a lot of people and recently this has been coming up, this sort of self-acceptance, allowance, openness, um, surrender, whatever you wanna call it. But I want you to see if you can take this approach of self-acceptance or what I call radical acceptance and apply it to what's happening in your life. Now, any situation, anything, we really have two choices, they say. We can, we can either accept something or we can make a change. Now, I think you can do both. I think you can work to make a change while you accept what is. And the reason why you want to accept what is is to take the pressure off yourself, to stop that cycle that's occurring in the brain and then in the body. So while you accept what's happening, you're doing that because what's happening is happening. So when you try to fight what's happening, you're going to just create more tension and more stress and strain. Now, at the same time, you can try to make changes. Now, the changes can occur in how you think about something. So moving out of catastrophizing, rumination, it can change your approach to how you deal with your feelings and emotions that you don't hold them in. You learn to express them more. You learn to be more open with your feelings and not hide them. It can also mean that you make changes in your life, workplace, home, the people you're with. You can make these changes, but it starts first with this acceptance, okay? Because sometimes when you accept and you really do fully accept something, you don't have to make a change. It changes by itself. The situation changes by itself. So we're talking about chronic pain and then we're talking about these chronic conditions. It can be hard for a lot of people to say I accept that 
that I that I am okay with that. But that's the shortcut to getting better because it really c- completely changes your brain um, waves, your brain chemistry, which then filters down into your body. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, so when you have a feeling come up, you have a symptom coming up, you have a thought coming up, I want to see if you can come back to this saying, I accept this. I surrender to this. I allow this. What's happening? I'm going to let it happen. And I'm okay with that. That is true neuropathway change. And that's what we're looking for with this approach, with the brain nervous system approach, is we need to change how we think about things and how we deal with our feelings, how we deal with our symptoms, and how we deal with life. So radical acceptance is right there. It's the, it, in my opinion, it's really can cut through a lot of garbage, a lot of effort, a lot of trying, and get right to the crux of what's happening, which is our resistance, our fear, our worry, our concern about what's happening. And, and when we're in that state, we tend to avoid, run from, or fight what's happening and that's fight or flight so that middle path of of self-acceptance radical acceptance it basically cuts right through the middle of it and it puts you in that parasympathetic state which is what we want more of with chronic conditions so see if you can practice this it's it's a conscious choice that you make in the middle of what's happening You have to switch to this choice that, hey, I accept this. You can say it internally. I accept this pain. I accept this feeling. I embrace it. I allow it. I am open to it. I surrender to it. And see what happens, which means you open yourself and you open your system for this energy, for this whatever is happening to play itself out. And most of the time it does. That's my experience with doing this work is that it actually works itself out in a pretty fast way because we're not resisting it anymore. So give this a shot, everybody. Uh, Radical acceptance of things that bother you, anything and everything. And while you're doing that radical acceptance, make changes that you can do that will help you in your life, but do both. Okay, but do both. Reach out questions. I hope everybody's doing okay. And we will talk to you soon. Take care.